Hey everybody, this is Lavender Rose, and I'm working on the quilt. I just got stuck with my pen now. Um, this is the Quilt of Blues, and I have been using these pins here. Let me get the little box if I can find it. Here it is. This is what I got. Heat erasable pins. And they are so much better because used to I had a little template that I put on there and I had to pin it on there and then you had to sew around it and all that stuff. This is so much easier. And you had different colors. You had uh, you have white, you have blue, and you have black. And they're they're like a chalk marker. But if you put heat to it, it um, it, it takes it off. It goes away. Um, so that's what I've been doing. Now, my son, this is for him. So this is the backing he picked right here. Can you see as it goes to a light and it goes into a dark and it has a little bit of a sun uh, color in it. It's called Saltus. And um, as you can see there, that one was done in the red marker so you can see it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if you can right here. Yeah, we get close enough, you will. As you can see, that's the red one. And this one was a white one, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, these are really, really nice. Mine come from Madame So um, online. But they work so good. And they make, make it so much easier because, like I said, I was doing a, a square... Oh, I don't even know where it's at right now, but I had, it was just a pasteboard square. Well, something like that, except this is smaller. But I was doing, you know, the pasteboard squares, and I had to pin it, put it down there, and then I had to pin it. Then you sewed around it, and all that stuff. And then you, you know, you move from one to the next, one to the next. Um, so it's kind of hard. Oh. And I am hand quilting this. And I'm hand quilting it on, um... Not on my frame. Just, just hand quilted it. I hope you'll share this with your friends and uh, let them see. It. Anybody can do this. Anybody can. All this is is in and out, in and out. That's all it is for the quilting. You hold it. Make sure your hands under there so you can feel it when you go put your needle through. It just barely touches your finger, and that way you know you've went all the way through there. Because if you don't, you might not would know. But that's how I'm doing it. And I just think it's beautiful. I really do. Um, the stone hinge, he can turn that over and use the quilt on that side. Whoops. I'm trying to get it in there right. There we go. Come on. Um, and what makes it really pretty is over here on the back side... All you're going to see is the diamonds. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, I'm trying to get it to rocking. Oh, there we go. I, I wonder if that fell down. Anyway, see over here, all you, all you see is the diamonds. And that's all that's there. Looks like I didn't get in there quite enough. I may have to go back over that. Because it goes right there and it's not showing, so I need to go back in there and tack that. I'm glad I, glad I looked. Anyway, so it shows diamonds on the back. Of course, you got squares on the front and then you're sewing the diamond in. So that's the way it works. Um, it's awesome. You can quilt just like this. Roll it up. Have the one side to where you're, you, you're doing your quilting on and then it just kind of lays in your lap while you're sewing it and you move it thing down. I'll do two rows at a time and I move it down and I mark the others and I move it down. Um, I'm not sure I'll have time but we can try it. Let me get this all laid out here nice and flat. There. Uh, to make it even, what I have been doing is I have been measuring it three inches in and then I mark it right here on the edge. Three inches in, 
and mark it right there. Now, when I go to do my square, which this is just a piece of uh, cardboard that I fixed. I line that one up. See, I can put a little mark on that one, so I'm using the same one each time. And I line those two up, and I make sure I've got it even. And then I just draw around it with this. This is the eraser, the iron. If you iron over it, it disappears. But it makes my job so easy. Because I would have that pinned if I had a, a, a template like. Let's see if we got it all. We did. It's as easy as that. And then you just sew around it. And then you hit it with the iron. I don't think my iron is still hot enough to show you. Yeah, it is kind of. Maybe not. But anyway, if the iron was hotter, it would just take it right off. It's amazing. Such a nice... Um, such a nice way to do it. Okay, so I've got everything about the same. Yeah, there we go. Now I can see what I... There. Alright, I hope you like this. Let me show you how I'm doing it. Um... I hope you'll like, subscribe, uh, send it to your friends that might be interested in the quilting and, you know, don't have room to put up a big old quilt frame, because I don't. And uh, I tried that one time and it just didn't work. He was taking it up and taking it down, taking it. It was just ridiculous. So anyway, back over here where I'm at, where I'm sewing. But yeah, uh, click the like button and comment if you like. Uh, I think it's going to be a beautiful quilt. And he loves blues anyway. So there you go. It's, it's the quilt of blues. Alright. Have a good day. Come back to see me. And this is Lavender Rose saying bye for now. And thanks for coming by. Be sure to grab you a cup of coffee and sit back and relax. And, and uh, enjoy. Alright. Bye bye.